Well, hey, y'all, are this afternoon. This is your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on, hey, let's shoot a shotgun. The shotgun we have to, dang, damn it, get that thing off my hip. Our bands are about wore out anyway. Uh, the shotgun we have today is a Sega. Now, this is the Russian-made 12-gauge Sega. This is the CNTA-12, made in Russia by Mashed Potatoes, and is imported by RWC Group Tule Town, PA, USA. And it's got, oh, I don't know, Picatania, Picatalia, Picanini, whatever it is, all over it here, and it's got a pistol grip on it there. It could have a pistol grip on it, to tell you the truth, instead of this thing. Uh, but you wouldn't be able to rock that big, long magazine in it. Now, I've loaded this gun with one round. It's a standard Sega with a breecher on the end of it. I think this is an 18-inch cylinder bore gun. The uh, thing about it is, I've seen a lot of these things shot on the Internet. And we're going to shoot a magazine out of it, just for shits and giggles, in a minute. But I wanted to get a look at it and see what it would actually pattern like with birdshot. You get a three-round magazine for these, and you know, or a two-round box with one in the chamber. And it's these are actually a legal hunting firearm, legal sporting gun, you know. So I thought we'd get out here and take the opportunity to pattern it. Now, it has a standard AK safety on it here. And then it has a bolt hold open device here that you can push up and hold the bolt back if you wanted to feed one at a time, if you could combat load such a thing. I've got a target up down here at 15 yards and I've got seven and a half, what is in it? Seven and a half universal trap load in it. I could see myself in a dove field with this thing, really? All right, let's give it a try. Let's pattern this gun, see how it actually shoots as a shotgun. There we go. See how it actually fire tates using it as a shot, conventional shotgun. And that shot is about as much fun as kissing your sister. All right. So clear. Yeah, there you go. All right. As my entourage sane saners down range to look at it, I think I'll go with them. It beads, I beat it right there, and it patterns, eh, it patterns at about 24 inches at 15 yards. You could kill a rabbit with it. You could probably kill a dove with it if you let him come in good. So, it's no better or worse than any other 20 inch cylinder bore shotgun at range. With birdshot, probably all right. We don't have buckshot round. Oh, I have a buckshot round. Let's try some buckshot out of it. Let's go back and try it again with buckshot, see what it shoots like. Bear with me a minute, folks. Let me round up around the buckshot. By the way, remind me, I got a surprise for you in a minute. Something you haven't seen in years. Uh, here's two rounds 
There's a number one buck. That'll do just fine. Number one buck. Let's see how a number one buck shoots at it at the same range. There we go. Remington, number one buck. I can figure out how to put that in there. It's like trying to load a cannon. Anybody see it? There it is. All right, let's see if we can get it in there. There it is. It's in there now. All right, pull that guy back. Up! <laughs> like, like a tank gun. Up! All right, let's give this a try. See how it does with number one buck. Oh! Yeah! That's on the paper. Let's see if we can hit something with conventional number four. Now here's the interesting part. This gun cycles dove loads and high brass buckshot equally. So that's that's pretty interesting to me for a guy that shoots an A5. Oh, it rung that target nice. Let's go down and look at the pattern with number one buck, which is approximately 30 caliber. At 15 yards, if that was an intruder in your home, he'd be in big trouble. Count him up there, Ed. He's still in there. He ain't happy. Five, six, seven, eight. Sixteen, which is what it has. Sixteen. Got them all in there in about a 24-inch spread. So, to my knowledge, this is the first time the Sega has ever been patterned on YouTube, which is... What I really wanted to do with it is pattern it. See how it actually shoots as a practical gun as opposed to a gun just to blow up shells with. But, seeing as how we've got this gun loaded with, I don't know how many rounds is in this coffin, but we're going to try it. Well. here a little bit. <laughs> yeah. No, we're just going to stand up and shoot this thing. This is an upstanding gun. You got to stand up to shoot it. Upstanding gun. This is an upstanding gun here. Tell you the truth, I've never done a mag dump with this thing before. Let's find out what it shoots like. Safety. This thing's heavy and an aggravation.
it's a serious waste of money right here. I mean, you know, really. Uh, you can shoot a, you can get yourself a good Mossberg pump, you know, and shoot three guys and put three back in it. Shoot three more guys and put three more back in it. A hell of a lot easier than you can carry around a 30 caliber machine gun that shoots 12 gauge shotgun shells. But it does pattern good. Well, that's about the size of it for this installment on. Hey, let's shoot an old shotgun. Like, state, share, pie, commentate, and subscribe. Uh, leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket. A hundred if you want to. You know, times are hard. Uh, God bless everybody. Join the NRA and we'll see you when we see you. Bye now. <laughs>